handful of Ukrainian soldiers, perhaps the last line of defense in the town of Vovchansk in North Ukraine, an area where Russia's forces have made massive inroads, capturing 100 odd square kilometers and threatening Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv. The Russian attack comes as Switzerland, which plays the role of a neutral player, has called for dozens of leaders to meet in Lucerne in a landmark peace summit, an attempt to end the war that continues to spiral out of control. India, Switzerland feels, has an important role to play, which is why Switzerland's foreign secretary will be traveling to Delhi to make the point that India's newly elected prime minister must attend the summit on the 15th of June. For now, Delhi hasn't decided whether India's representation will be at the level of the PM. Significantly, Russia's President Putin will not be attending. This is a map of Ukraine showing the city of Kharkiv in North Ukraine. Just 30 kilometers to the north of Kharkiv, there has been intense fighting in the areas marked in circles. And the areas shown in red are areas which have been captured by Russian forces. Ukraine, in a major counter-offensive, has attacked a major airbase in Russia-occupied Crimea to the south of the country. Several Russian fighter jets have been destroyed, in addition to a major surface-to-air missile system. The war in Ukraine is not just attritional, it revolves around the industrial capability of Russia versus Ukraine's Western allies. Bombs, artillery shells, missiles, they have to be manufactured and deployed. Russia may have an edge in that now. Ukraine's chances of continuing its resistance depends heavily on continued weapon support from the US and its partners. Vishnu Shom for NDTV.